Hi everybody, good afternoon. I'm Veronica Balicki with the Henry Ford Health System Care Program. And today we're at a wonderful building in Metro Detroit to talk with Jane Felzak, our resident expert, about ways of de-stressing during the holidays. As we all know, um, this time of year is busy for everybody and everybody gets a little bit stressed out. She's going to talk with us just kind of little things we can do over the next few weeks to just everybody keep their anxiety down and work together to have happy, happy holidays. So Jane, what can you tell me is your biggest tip to help a caregiver or any person de-stress during the holidays? The tips are really for anyone um, and it mainly um, lies in streamlining. What can you streamline? What can you get rid of? What can you not do? Um, and what can you delegate, and what can you then keep for yourself as a pleasure? I would suggest that anyone, but mostly caregivers, take about a half an hour, sit down, and make a list of all the things that they want to do or have to do or are mandatory during the holiday season, and then realistically look at that list and get rid of half. And then, um, because a lot of the things that we think are, are things that must be done are not necessarily the case. And then once you get rid of that half and you're comfortable with that, take a minute to think about that. And after you do that, start to delegate. If you have been, especially as a caregiver, if you have been the person who has always created this magnificent Christmas day or holiday meal, um, can you make it a potluck this year? Instead of using uh, the fine china that has to be polished and cleaned and all of those things, can you use paper plates and disposable um, silverware? Um, those kinds of things. Can you delegate out? Um, some of the baking, if you have, are known for the dozens of cookies that you create every holiday season, how about if you make one or two? Or create a, um, um, a cookie uh, exchange where maybe everyone gets a lot of cookies, but you don't necessarily have to make more than two or three. Um, allow things to other folks to um, assist you, to pitch in, and then let them leave. If the three of the things on the list are potentially putting up nut crackers and then decorating the tree and um, writing Christmas cards, one of, what is one of the three of those things that you can get rid of? And then can you delegate one so that it's okay if the children decorate the tree and all the uh, ornaments are on the bottom? It's right. something to talk about. It'll give you a bit of that. Try to be try to be lighthearted about it. You can see us. We're with Santa hats yeah, and Santa hats. And, uh, have fun. Have yeah. some fun. Yeah. And um, just try to take care of yourself. And remember I some of the things we talked about previously. So thinking about your and ourselves our side, every day just to um, catch your breath. Be mindful of your uh, body posture and the tension in your um, shoulder and neck and back. Um, take a deep breath every once in a while and just try to. Take it easy. The holidays are mostly about being together versus the perfect tree and the best cookies and the fanciest meal. So what I'm hearing you say is that one thing you can do is separate out the must-dos from the nice-to-dos. So what do I really have to do? And then of the things that I really have to do or really in my heart want to do the most, like prioritize it and ask for some assistance. And help doing that. And then just remember to take a few minutes every day for myself yes. as a caregiver, as a person who's working, as a mom, as a sister, as a daughter, all yes. of that, whatever your role is as a caregiver or a family member or a friend or a coworker, and just remember what the important thing is, which yes. is celebrating with all of those people you care about yes. and taking a minute for myself just to kind of breathe. Even if it's for me in the car on the way home, I Absolutely. just use that time to be compressed. Mm -hmm. Certainly the case. That's the best thing. Is there anything else that comes to mind for you? Well, the holidays can be very stressful for folks who are care caretaking for or have in their family um, family members that are potentially dealing with Alzheimer's or dementia or some of those kinds of things. And those folks have a lot of stress during the holiday. Their routines are disrupted. Um, they have a lot of differences in their foods or in their meal times or any of those kinds of things. So I think it's important for all the family and maybe having a conversation ahead of the time when, before you have that person come to right. join your celebration to recognize that these people probably need in 15 and 20 minutes that it's okay for them to be sitting quietly somewhere that, so that they don't get over stressed to try to maintain as much of their routine as possible. And if it means that someone needs to leave to be able to take that person um, to um, a quiet area or back to wherever they reside or to just get them settled in a different part of the right. house or the, or the area that you're in, um, then that's okay. 
And then I think people, especially folks who are caring for Alzheimer's or dementia, uh, family members, um, to remember that try to um, include them um, in the celebration as much as possible, but potentially playing some of the music that they enjoy, pulling out some um, Christmas pictures, oh, Christmas photos, past, Christmas past, and then recognize that you may have a disruption, you may have a meltdown, you may have some of those things right. happen, and that's okay. You don't have to make it perfect, you just have to be together and be able to enjoy it. And you could apply a lot of that to parents and grandparents of children, too, yes. because they get so excited about the holidays, regardless of what holiday it is, that all that energy is keyed up, that they may need to just either arrive late in an event, or leave early, yes. or plan on just staying part of it, Absolutely. so that the routine is totally disrupted. Absolutely. And I think caregivers and everyone in general needs to remember to hydrate during the holidays, hydrate. don't forget about that, to try to eat as best as possible. Um, and to uh, just take a moment for themselves sometimes. Sometimes at the end of the day or maybe in the middle of the day, you just need to remove yourself, take a few deep breaths, take a few minutes, and then join the celebration. Those are all great tips. Thank you. I I'm hoping that folks find something that they can use for uh, the holidays to stress and enjoy themselves. Thank you so much, Jane, again. I know Thank you did you. this last year, and we appreciate it. And if you have any comments, or questions, you can post that um, after we're offline and we will be happy to answer those. If you have any questions in the meantime or you need to speak with someone, if you're a caregiver and you're feeling some stress, you can visit www.henryford.com slash family caregivers or email um, caregiver resources at hfhs.org. Thanks and I hope everyone has a wonderful December and a very happy new year. Happy holidays everyone.